Good morning, Wednesday morning, heading now to Tel Aviv. Early morning, very early morning meeting with a friend in Bar Strum over coffee, just to catch up, then to Poutine for the day, and having lunch with Amit Shafrir, an old school, an incredible entrepreneur that's been doing this longer than I knew what the word startup meant. Very excited to meet him for lunch. All in all, fantastic day ahead. Here we go. Five a.m. Tel Aviv. Got parking. Heading to meet in bar for coffee. Love it when I get here early enough to get some parking. Let me tell you one of the many reasons that I love. First of all, look at her on her. We're in the middle of a meeting and she's on her Facebook. Can you imagine? I'm uploading a video, a photo of him ditching sure. me in order to take a photo with other people. It's true. So I'm sitting there in the cafe, literally just sitting there. We're having coffee. We're talking. Who walks by? Shachar Markovich, the, the chief digital officer of El Al. Who's he going to meet? Near Bloomberger from Excel Ventures, previously corporate development at Facebook. He's like legends just walking around having coffee in the middle of the streets. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what, this is the reason that I do what I do. The level, the caliber of people in Israeli tech. What's going on, Bar? How are you doing? Not so great. What? I was having coffee and then you just get up and excited like a five years old. Oh my God, do you know who that is? Oh my God, do you think? huge man crush. Oh my God, huge man crush. I'm so excited. You do a really good impersonation, but that's impressive stuff. It's our body. He was way. as excited as a five years old being told that he's getting chocolate ice cream today. I Pretty swear much. to Dude, God. The, near Bloomberger and Shachar Markovic. You these need guys, a babysitter. They're like legit. <laughs> Where are we going? That's that's Harbaugh, right? Yeah, I didn't know. How was, like, how was, your, how was your breakfast though? Where's your sandwich? I couldn't it eat it because we were talking so much and everything was so interested because obviously it's Hillel so I'm gonna How have many, it later. Is that your first coffee this morning or you had one before? First coffee. Wow so what's with, what's with all the energy? Is that me? I bring out the best energy in you? Is that the story? I think imitating you is just like, like great like in me. Is that Harbaugh right there? That's the Harbaugh. I have the worst sense of direction. Seriously, you don't know Ever. that's Harbaugh? That's, how can you, I, it, it makes where, sense. what else would it be if it's more than I, you? I, I don't know how to find my house without ways. Like the supermarket without ways. Forget it. Anyway, oh. I'm turning this thing off so we can actually like talk off camera, but this was Hi, a lot of fun. We should do this more often. Yeah, but we, we should, should go to the cafe near you, because near your old place. What's it called, the cafe that we, that we went to last uh, time? What's uh, it called? No. How do you not remember the name? Uh, What's wrong with you, girl? Come on. Oh my gosh, you are so fired you by this. You know they have like What's another one in quarantine. What's it called? Best coffee in Tel Aviv. And you don't know the name? Ah. Oh, you're gonna leave people in suspense right now. No, please help me, people. Cafe. Uh, Shlomo Amelech. Cafe. Cafe. Oh, I can't remember the name. No. With a race. Cafelix. Cafelix, there you go. We love you, Cafelix. Love Cafelix. Sorry, we forgot your this name. This was good too, look, I mean. Yeah, they're coffee. really nice. It gets crowded. So crowded. At 8 o'clock in the morning, it's crazy. All right, goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. goes on here at Powtoon Yoga. We got the BI team, the marketing team, the yoga team. Love it. Lunch heading to Memphis. I know. Complete shocker. Mr. Doctor Rabbi Neither, you? neither. Amit Shafrir, what's going Just on, man? Amit, no Mr. Nothing. How you doing, man? I'm good. It's been a while. It has. Good it to has. see you. Hungry? I am, always, unfortunately. We're gonna eat. Let's do this. This is how business gets done in Tel Aviv. These guys are walking. I had lunch with Amit. Just connected them. He's coming over there to give a lecture this afternoon to Torah Tech. One year program to Americans who come to Israel. Instead of spending all day long studying, they half a day intern at tech companies, half a day they learn Torah. And he's a hot shot tech exec, literally just walking on the streets, bumped into each other. He's going there to give a lecture this afternoon. That is business in Israel. Love it. What did you just say? I said it's very Israeli. But in a good way. Absolutely. This is a good part. This is what it's about, Walking right? down the street. Multi-billion dollar deals get closed in this country over coffee. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That's what it's about. I was, at a, I was having lunch one time at Mitos, and a friend of mine was at the next table, and he's a lawyer. And the, the startup I was meeting was like, I need a really good lawyer. I'm like, boom, boom, close the deal. But this is how things get done in this country. We're walking. He's walking. Boom. We're going there at 5 o'clock to give a lecture. I love it. Hey, 
It's the best. Scale up nation. We don't need all the, you know, political correctness, diplomacy, hierarchy of tech companies in Silicon Valley. Just get it done, baby. All right, sit down. Let's talk a little political correctness in Silicon Valley. You know what I, Yeah, well, they call it whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> all right, let's sit. We're going to have a little problem here because Amit's a little too humble, but we're going to try to work on him. Amit Shafrir, who are you? I'm Amit Shafrir. What's your story? Talk to me. I'm mostly an X guy. X this, X this, X, X Amdocs, X AOL, X ICQ, X Winamp, X Netscape, X Badoo. Why? You were at Netscape? I. Did you work with Mark? No, no, way, way, way later. I sold the remnants of Netscape from AOL. Oh my God. Wow. It's very interesting. When when uh, Netscape it's was funny. acquired, it was almost a $10 billion acquisition. Yeah. And at that time, they were doing $650 million in revenue. Okay. When I sold the remnants. I don't, do I want to know? Very, you want to si make me sing, Single digit millions. Okay. All right, wait. So, so what's your what's your special? Like, what do you do? What what do you what's your thing? What's your thing? My thing is sell me on Amit Shafrir. Amit Shafrir knows how to grow companies. Knows so, how to take a company from twenty million dollars to two hundred million dollars, from twenty people it. to two hundred. Your claim to fame though is like Badu. That's like your thing, right? Isn't I don't your... know. I don't know my claim to fame, but I did help Badu grow from uh, humble beginnings to uh, being what I think of today is a multi-billion-dollar company. Do you think that was a while ago. It's not you thinks it. The market thinks it. World's largest online dating company. Yep. Not that I've ever used the product. <laughs> Been married for thirty years, so love it. None of that. But and you live in DC, right? I live in DC. Yeah. What's your main thing now? What do you do? I do consult to companies. In fact, right now I'm consulting to a company in the medical devices space. Really? An Israeli company called Itamar Medical. That's interesting. I'm writing about a, a medical device company this weekend on the Jerusalem Post called Mobile ODT. You know them? No. Ariel Berry. It's a device to detect cervical cancer in a non-intrusive way because okay. cervical cancer is pretty much easily cured as long as women get, women get tested and they don't get tested because of the test. So this tests women for cervical cancer in a very you know, very cool. user-friendly way. Crazy company. Very cool. I'll tell you something very, very amazing that people don't know. In the U.S., there are about 92 million people who have cardiac issues, heart issues. Yep. We keep eating um, like this, and we're gonna have cardiac issues too. <laughs> 50% of them, yeah. 50% of them have something called sleep apnea. That's when you kind of almost choke to death during your sleep and okay. wake up again. Yeah. And 80% of them are undiagnosed. There's 36 million people who have sleep apnea that directly affects their heart and okay. who could die and they don't know about it. Wow. That's what Adamar Medical does. Help, help detect that. You know, you know the website offhand? Adamar-medical.com. Or, ca or cardiosleepsolutions.com. Cardiosleepsolutions.com. Love it. Right. So Amit Shafir grows, grows, grows businesses. You're, you're, you have how many clients right now? And are, are you, can you take on more? If somebody's watching this, they want to they pitch you and they want to hire you and take your services. Can, are you open to more business or you know no bandwidth? I, I am open, but I don't provide services. I help companies. I like that. I, I actually totally relate to that. People I, say to me I get, I get I'm like, very oh. ingrained in the company. I get into the weeds. I help companies. Love it. How do people contact you? Shafrir at gmail.com. S-H-A-F-R-I-R at gmail.com. Yep. Joseph, put his email right there. Folks, if you think it's relevant, hit up Amit Shafrir. He is, as we say in Hebrew, a totach. I gotta run to my next meeting, man. It was always, always a pleasure to hang out with you. And those, how was the burger, by the way? Burger was excellent. Huh? Thank you, you very much. You're not strictly kosher, are you? I'm not, but so, it was. So I'm just saying, like, I've never had butter on a burger. I would imagine it's delicious, but relative to even non kosher burgers, how was that burger? It was excellent. The butter would not have made any difference here. I love that. Ori, you heard that? Ori's the, the <laughs> owner of, uh, of uh, Memphis. He was on my last vlog, and he's telling me about what he puts into his burger and how much love goes into it. It's amazing. Anyway, fantastic to hang out, and uh, looking forward to the next time, and I'll let you know when I'm in DC, all right? Absolutely. Thanks, dude. supposed to have a meeting with a U.S. politician now, but um, unfortunately there are going to be massive protests in Tel Aviv now, and I understand that all the roads are going to be blocked starting at 3 o'clock. So I am getting the heck out of here, heading home super early, so I don't get stuck here till 10 p.m. Made it home bright and early, thanks to the protests in Tel Aviv. Look how beautiful it is here. Check this out. This is what I leave my house every day too. It's my house, my view. In any case, it's 4 p.m. and my day is just starting. I have an Inc. article to write, a J Post article to write, a press release to write, and I think three other meetings this afternoon. It's gonna be a productive afternoon, and tomorrow I'm spending the day in Ranana in a marathon of meetings with amazing people. Super pumped about that, see you then.